Now that we've got a little bit of familiarity with the 3ds Max interface, let's create some objects. And that's done from the command panel over here on the right. The default command panel is the create panel. It's got a big plus icon. And within the create panel, there are a bunch of object types, geometry or lights and cameras and so on. Let's go back to geometry. And within that category, you've got a pull down list of all different types of geometry with lots of options here. Let's go to standard primitives, that's the default. And we've got some primitive objects and these are just building blocks of a scene. To create a primitive object in 3ds Max, you actually have to click and drag in very particular ways to create the objects. It's not like you just click the button and you get a box like you would in some programs. You actually have to click and drag in very specific manners in order to make it happen. Now for a sphere, it's really simple. You click on the sphere button and then click anywhere in this perspective view and drag holding down the mouse. And when you release, you've created your sphere, but you're still in the sphere creation tool. If you click and drag again, you'll create another sphere. If you want to exit out of that tool, then you can choose a different tool or you can right click in the view. So I could either click a different button up here or a button anywhere up here and that would exit out of sphere or I could just click the right mouse button and now I'm out of sphere creation mode. So a sphere is simple, but if you want to create a more complicated object or something that has more than just one parameter, which is the radius, then you need to click and drag in a specific fashion. Let's go for a box. I'll click on box and then to create a box what you do is you click and hold the mouse button down and what you're doing is you're dragging out to create the footprint of the box and then release the mouse and then drag upward to set the height or elevation and then click again to finish that particular box so once again click and hold release drag click now you've got another box. When you're done making boxes, you can choose some other tool. Okay, so for example, I can go up here on the main toolbar and we've got the select object tool. Click on that and now I can select objects and I'm no longer making boxes. Click on a sphere, for example, and we can change the parameters of a selected object by going to the modify panel. So on the command panel, the second tab over is modify and you will see the parameters for the selected object. So for example, I could change the radius of the sphere. I could select that field and type in a value like 10 and press return or enter. And now I've got a radius of 10. Now you may be wondering 10 what? What units are we working in here? Well, we'll cover that in a later movie. For right now, we're in so-called generic units that have no meaning. We can also adjust these values by playing with these little arrows known as spinners. If you click on the up arrow, you're gonna be increasing that value. If you click on the down arrow, you'll be reducing the value. But you wanna do that more quickly by clicking and holding on the spinner arrow with the mouse. Click and hold and then drag up and down and you can interactively set that parameter. That's the basics of creating and modifying objects.